I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll evaluate limits using table of values. The question here is use table of values to estimate limit when x approaches 0 for tan 3x divided by tan 4x. Now to find the limit as x approaches 0 for the given function we need to find limit from both left side and from right side. So we will evaluate as x approaches 0 from the left side that is minus for tan 3x over tan 4x and we'll also find the limit of the same function as x approaches 0 from the right side for tan 3x over tan 4x correct tan 4x now note whenever you do trigonometric functions uh, the angle should be in radians so we are working in radians right remember that so set your calculator to radians when you do this work so let's make table of values to estimate this result. So what we will do here is that we'll take the values of x as close to 0 as possible, right? So we'll write x as, when you're approaching from the negative side, let's call this as a function f of x, right? In both the cases, make a table like this. Uh, when we say close to 0 from the left side, that really means that it is like, uh, minus value right minus 0 0.9 right so 0 point you can say very close to 0 it is minus uh, 0 point you can say 0 0.01 okay you can say minus 0 point you could start with 0 0.9 come to 0 0.1 and then can move like this also right so likewise you can go now, when you are saying that you have to approach x from the right side, then you could take values as 0 0.1, for example. You can take 0 0.01. So that is closer to 0, 0 0.001. Like this, you can move. Okay. So I'd like you to make this table of values and find the result. You can start with minus 0 0.1, actually. Anyway, what I will do here is just calculate one value for each and then see what happens at the most two, right? So let's do that. So let me begin with the with the right side. So we are approaching tan 3x over tan 4x from the right side, right? So we'll substitute 0.1 for x. So what we have here is in the numerator, we have tan three times 0.1, right? So that is, you could write 3 times 0 0.1, bracket close, divided by tan 4 times 0 0.1, bracket close, equal to. So, so for 0 0.1, we get a value which is 0 0.731, correct? Let's replace this 0 0.1 to 0 0.01 and see what happens. So if I write 0 0.01, for both numerator and denominator x values and evaluate I get 0 0.749 right and if I write 0 0.001 right so it is even closer to 0 but from the right side correct so what I get here is 0 0.7499 do you see so eventually, we see that it approaches 0 0.75 as the value approaches 0 from the right side. Do you see that? So that becomes the limit of this function. So we could write this limit as 0 0.75, correct? We can do the same calculations for the function when we are approaching 0 from the negative side. So let's calculate this value now. So we'll change the value for the function as uh, minus this time so so it's better to write minus first so we'll write minus right and uh, let's use 0 0.001 okay you can find the other values right and complete the table that's the whole idea so we have uh, you know we are evaluating this value correct and let's say equal to so we get the answer which is 0 0.7499 correct as you can see, it is almost the same answer, right? It is the same answer, right? So we are approaching 0 0.75 here also. 
So this value, value is also approaching 0 0.71. Since we have limit of x approaching 0 from negative side for the function tan 3x over 4x, tan 4x I mean, is equals to limit x approaching 0 from the right side for tan 3x over tan 4x. Both are same, right? Since both are same, we well, can write that this limit is same as 0 0.75. Both limits are equal. Therefore, the answer is 0 0.75, which is 3 over 4, right? 3 over 4. So our answer is 3 over 4, correct? So that is how you can find limits using table of values. Well, so as an exercise, complete this table. You can start with minus 0 0.1, and then you'll see that it approaches 0 0.75. That's the whole idea. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope you appreciate how we can find limits by using table of values. So if you get the same value, then the limit exists. If we do not get the same value, limit does not exist. That is important to remember. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Thank you and all the best.